Welcome to the LandOps Playbook, a video tutorial series at LandOps.org. These tutorials are meant to share the LandOps style of adventure with other clubs and adventure seekers. Whether you want to play these games on your own, or if you want to tie in to the LandOps home team, we hope that these games, which we call Ops, will bring your adventures to a whole new level. And we're calling that level, Level 3. Hi, my name is Chris Deering, President of LandOps ARC. KI6 QBM here, and today we're talking about Level 3 Ops. Yeah, same here. You're uh, bouncing around between a 5.7 and a 5.9 at our location. Well, that's great to you. LandOps ARC is an ARRL affiliated radio club. The club is based in California, but our forum is global. And now, with the introduction of Level 3 operations, HF operators from anywhere can join in and participate in the LandOps style of mobile communications and navigation challenges. The HF operator is the link to conducting the land op style of adventure anywhere. Bravo HF, Bravo HF. This is Alpha HF. You copy over. There are several ways to participate in a land ops level 3. The key is to have at least one HF operator in your group. The following are a few variations of level 3. Number 1, the HF recon. The most elementary Level 3 op is an HF Mobile to HF Mobile planned connection with no Level 1 or Level 2 op required. We call these elementary radio ops HF Recons and involve a mobile station scouting remote terrain where a possible land ops might be conducted. They can be scheduled on short notice and can be pre-planned to occur during a scheduled Level 1 or Level 2 operation. Number two, the non-concurrent op. If your level one or level two op in your area is not concurrently scheduled with a California home team op, you can request that Land Ops California serve as a base check-in station, or even serve you as a base net control station for your and op. Then really, it's just a matter of handling the traffic, right? So I like to think of the traffic as kind of like a hot potato. I don't want to spend a lot of time on the radio. So I take what they got, I say it back to them. But you're on the radio like super quick and sharp and, and that's it. Number three, check-in station. You can participate simply as a check-in station from a base or mobile HF station during a land ops home team operation. Our teams will be instructed to make contact with your station at certain locations in their course before they can proceed. You may be asked to transfer vital information pertinent to their progress. Number four, the concurrent level three op. This is the ultimate level three. Conduct a level one or level two op in your area concurrently scheduled with a land ops home team operation. And what makes these level one and level two ops a level three is that they are conducted concurrently and that they are pre-planned to exchange data through HF in order that your team and our team can progress through their navigational courses. Tell Greg he likes s'mores. These ops are the most sophisticated and require a good deal of preparation and coordination on both ends. They are pre-choreographed courses with a setup team on both ends. Both operations may be separated by perhaps hundreds or thousands of miles, and yet they must rely on each other to exchange data in order to complete their course and reach their final objectives. This video from the Land Ops Playbook has been an overview of the Level 3 Land Ops. In upcoming Playbook videos, we will cover the various Level 3 Ops in more detail. Watch for more tutorials at landops.org.